Today we're going to be talking about how to use an external hard drive as your extended storage device for the PS4. First, we're going to talk about the requirements for the external hard drive. It has to be USB 3 or later, and it has to have a minimum of 250 gigs and a maximum of 8 terabytes capacity. Now, you only can use one external hard drive at a time. If you try to use two, you'll get an error message. So only use one at a time. PS4 had licensed a Seagate external hard drive as the official external hard drive for the PS4, but you can use any external hard drive long as long as it meets the requirements, especially at a 3.0. Now we're going to go over this in steps. Whenever you're using the external hard drive, you have to start with formatting your external hard drive so that you can use it for external storage device on the PS4. So the first thing we're going to do is format the drive. So in order to do that, you come all the way over to the right, to the settings. Go into settings, and you want to look for devices. When you get in devices, you want to go scroll all the way down to U.S. storage devices. Once you get in the U.S. storage devices, you click on the device you see, and you're going to go to format as extended storage. Click on format to extended storage and it's either going to start or you're going to get this message. I actually had my, my USB stick in there, so that's not going to work for it. But this is how you go about it. Once you press that start format button, it'll automatically format to the proper format that needed to be extended storage. The second thing you have to do after that is you have to change the application install location, meaning you have to switch to where you want your games being installed on the PS4 system storage or on the external hard drive. The first thing you do is you go back over the settings, you go all the way down to storage, And inside storage, if you see right here to the right where it says application install location. So right now, if you download a game, it's going to download on your system. If you want to change that so it goes directly to your storage, you can go hover over your storage, wherever that is. And what you do is you press the option button and then you click X. And then you can change this from extended storage or you can leave it how it was in your system storage. Now, what I would advise to do is because you can play the games off your extended storage. So what I would advise is to leave space on the PlayStation because it downloads faster than it would to your external hard drive. So if you leave space on the PlayStation and download games to your PlayStation, it'll download faster. So all the games that you play the least, take them off and put them on your extended storage. So this way, all you, when you want to play them, all you got to do is stick your extended storage back in and then you can play the games. I'm going to show you how you can move a game to that external storage. So let's start from the beginning. From the beginning, what you do is you go to settings, you go to storage. Now you go where the game is. So you click in system storage, click in applications, and I want to say let's go Black Ops 4. So what you do is you press the option button. As soon as you press the option button, this will come up. Move to extended storage. You'll press X on that. And then you can select which games 
or select all and move all of them to your hard drive. What I'm going to do is just select one for now. So let's say Call of Duty 4 Black Ops. I selected it. Now I'm going to go over here to move. Press move. And then it's going to ask me, do I want to move the selected application? I'm going to press OK. As soon as you do that, it'll start trying to move from the PlayStation to the extended hard drive which takes less time than actually downloading the actual game. You see that says 25 minutes. Now, if you was downloading the game, it would say it was at first it would say like 3 uh, uh to 5 hours, I would say. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to teach you how to properly disconnect your external storage. And I'm going to show you two different ways. First, let's go down to settings. I'll show you the longer way first. Go down to settings, and in settings, you want to go to devices. And inside devices, go to USB storage devices. Go inside your device you want to stop using, and click stop using external device. And after you click that, then it'll give you a screen like this, where you can eject it safely. The second one I'm going to show you is a lot shorter. So first you have to replug your storage device back up. And then let's go back to the main screen. And all you have to do is go to your PlayStation button your shortcut button and press it. And once in there, you go to sounds and devices. And if you look down at the bottom, it say stop using external storage. So all you got to do is press X and you'll come to the screen where you can safely disconnect from your device. Now this is how you use an external storage on PS4.